Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of uh, my Fire Red Nuzlocke. Uh, we're right where we left off last time, just got onto the Seafoam Island. And I think we'll uh, get through this, these uh, caves in this episode and make our way to um, Cinnabar Island, even though we already did that before. But first let's start off with a trainer battle over here on the other side. And of course gonna have a water Pokemon, Sea King. We will be able to catch one Pokemon this episode, I'm pretty sure. Just inside the Seafoam Islands. Yeah. So we have this whole cave system to go through using strength and whatnot. I guess uh for now I'll put Bucktooth first. See what Pokemon we end up with. She wanna make sure I have enough Pokeballs. Should be good. Six Ultra Balls, eleven Great Balls, and a Pokeball. Should be fine. And we found an Ice Heal. And our first Pokemon is a Psyduck. Okay. So I guess that's what our, <laughs> our Pokemon can be. Oh, this is actually quite low level. <laughs> we'll switch in a Kitty for this. Actually, let's see how this works out. Actually, I don't like all that defense lowering. Kind of annoying. Definitely don't want Kitty to die. <laughs> and oh wow, okay, that was a critical hit. And we should be able to catch us with an Ultra Ball pretty easily. There we go. So we got a side up right away. Another water type, not too bad. And what shall we name our side up? Okay, since uh, side up's kind of looking like a platypus. Type Pokemon, and same with uh, Golduck, we're gonna name him Perry. Perry the Platypus. Yeah. So we got ourselves a Psyduck, not bad. Oh, thank god we didn't get a Zubat. Because, eh, I mean, it wouldn't, been, wouldn't have been the worst thing. But, definitely not the best thing. The Psyduck's interesting, at least. Zubats are everywhere. <laughs> so we're just gonna start pushing these boulders. Because, of course, you got to push all these down their respective holes. And we'll go down one more. Got to use strength again. Kind of annoying, but oh uh, well. And then back up here we'll go. Because I think that's just going to force us into the water current. I'm going to see if I have a rappel to put on as well. But... Yeah, we have at least one repel here. So we're just going down further. We got an item here. Arrive, that's gonna be useless. Oh, what can you do? Oh, whoops, fell through the hole. Oh, okay. Ah, wow. The first step right when repel wears off. Um, do I have any other repels? Don't believe so. That's annoying. Oh well, at least we have the speed up button. Get away, Zubat. So we're gonna go down here. Down the ladder. I forget the exact layout of this. I know there's just a bunch of ladders and you gotta push all the stones in the right place. Oh, we could've got a seal. Okay, go up here. Water stone, that's actually nice. In case we ever want like a polyrath or something. That's where we came from. Go down here. Down some more, I believe. These uh, the currents are too fast still. So we got another item. An ultra ball, okay. Of course, Articuno is in here, but we'll not be catching it. Uh, we're, we're just gonna leave the Artic Articuno here. Oh, there's a gold duck. Okay. <laughs> here we go, here's another boulder we got. And another Zubat. Another Zubat. Okay, we're just gonna get pushed here. Man, I really wish I had some fellas. Probably should've got those. <laughs> I am not would've made this a lot easier. A lot less annoying, actually. So these 
currents are still too fast. Uh, we have to get down there. Um, okay, yeah, right here. There's some more boulders. Go away. I believe we have to push this one over. Yeah, let's push this all over here. That one go down there. This one we want to push up. Oh. We're gonna push this one down. There we go. Over and then just like that. So we should have all that back up. Okay, that actually gets us to Articuno. And then just want to I wanna get out. I need the other stone on the other side, right? To get out of the Seafoam Islands. Unless... There's... Oh no. That's where you come from, okay. This is so confusing with so many layers. Yeah, we want another boulder there. Um, uh, not the way. So it looks like we're gonna have to go back up one of these ladders. Man, just gotta run from everything. <laughs> Come on. Back up here. Go away. <laughs> go away, side up. Oh, there's, there's the last thing, the last boulder. Go away. Why would you want to mess with me? I'm so much higher level. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Maybe if I didn't run so much. For real? Go away, Zubat. I'm surprised that the levels in this cave are... So, like, so low level. And that's like, there's like a legendary in here. Okay, almost have this done. Yay, there we go. And then I can, I believe... Which way do we go to get out? Or is there an item? Oh no, okay, no, it's obviously not that way. Okay, but now we solved all that, got some items. Caught a Pokemon, that was actually pretty quick. And I didn't realize that that time went by pretty quick actually. Not too bad, because we're not catching the legendary. And then we're on the other side, and we're gonna have some trainer battles right away, so let's switch into Pokeball. We'll obviously do bit more in this episode. Make our way back to Cinnabar Island. And a seal. Ooh. Only six hundred dollars. Come on. No. What are you doing? No, we don't want to go that way. This way. What do you got? There's a bird. Bird keeper, Roger, Fero. Spark, 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 Pokemon definitely over leveled. I don't know why they would have like such low levels around Cinnabar Island and you know, around the Seafoam Island. But what are you gonna do? We got this chick with a shelter. And we're out of sparks actually. <laughs> Cloister. Um, oh, Kitty picked up an item. Wow, oh, probably, probably should have been checking out the whole time. Cloister, we'll see what we'll send in Buck to. Yeah, this thing's only... Oh, missed a Hyper Plane. That's unfortunate. Again, twice in a row? Wow, that's annoying. And of course he had a withdrawal. 
Bummer. Okay, this thing is being like really annoying. Like, really annoying. I don't know how I missed so many hyper things. One more, come on. Finally. There we go. That was like the longest battle ever. Jeez. And we're gonna switch out of there. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with that again. We're just going to Gary. He's a little under level compared to the rest of our team. Not compared to the shelter though. Oh jeez, I feel bad for the shelter. But it's gonna be annoying and protect, but taking out in one hit. Almost level 43 for Gary. Got 120 bucks. That's kinda not a lot. But what are you gonna do? Whoops, I'm already surfing. Let's see what Kitty picked up. TM10! Woo, another hidden power. It's like we have like three of those now. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't think there is a person that tells you what hidden power your Pokemon would have in this game. But if there is, I'd definitely use that and see what hidden powers my Pokemon have. Because I mean, I got three TMs of it. I'd probably teach it to, like, Pokeball or... Hottie. Yeah, probably them too. Uh, what well, for? So I'll see can get it now with the chat. Need to go to the move relearner and get Thrash on. Gary though. That is for sure. Because he's gonna dominate with Thrash. It's already dominating with like a bite. Talking about Cinnabar Lab. That's where we're gonna be heading. Not too much experience from these Pokemon. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep biting. Eh, I got the flinch, that's nice. Slowly chipping away its HP. Nice. $124. And we're back to Cinnabar Island. Let's see you up. And I don't believe I have a Pokemon here yet, so let's... Uh, so many... Safari, 19, yeah. So we can get a Pokemon here, and I'm gonna get a, one of the fossil Pokemon. I don't do, uh, like the in-game trades in, uh, in a Nuzlocke, but, um, I mean, it's, I think it's fair that the fossil Pokemon can be obtained. Um, yeah, like, see, like, do you have to have Raichu for Electrode? Like, I wouldn't do that, and I think. Venonat for Tangela, and I think some other person trades, like, a, there's, like, a Ponyta and Seal trade. Oh, that person teaches metronome. Maybe... Okay, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, Ponyta for a seal, yeah. So I wouldn't do any of those, but since it's, uh, my first Pokemon here, um, a Fonso Pokemon to revive, I'd say, uh, that's pretty fair. I didn't run into any Pokemon on the island. I mean, it's either like fish or surf which is not gonna uh do much which is not gonna give me a very variety a different variety of pokemon because i have a bunch of the water pokemon as is so do i want to do a dome fossil for kabuto or old amber for aerodacto i've never really used either much and I already have a water. I'm gonna do Aerodactyl. Okay, so we just gotta go outside for a little thing. We might have to deposit a Pokemon first, actually. Yeah, I already have a water Pokemon, and I have plenty of water Pokemon, so I'm not gonna pick the Kabuto. 
Put a star kitty in there. Yeah, not gonna pick the Kabuto cause, just because I have so many water Pokemon already. Oh, I'm late. Apostles back to life is an Aerodeco thing. And yes, I will give this a nickname. What shall I nickname it? Okay, I'm just gonna go kind of with a generic, <laughs> probably not too original name for Aerodactyl. Uh, going with Beast, cause this thing just looks like a beast and it's intimidating and just crazy. Yeah, so met at Cinnabar Island level 5. Not too bad. I mean, Aerodactyls just like look like a beast. Don't even have an evolution, just they're just completely like, I'm a rock that can fly, and I'm super fast. It's like, I would have named it if I could fit it in a weird way. I tried fitting it and it wouldn't have worked out, but I would have named it uh, Patrick's Rock uh, <laughs> from the one SpongeBob episode where the they have like the snail races, Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick, and Patrick's like. Like his rock wins. He had like a pet rock. Because, uh, you know, it was so fast and Aerodactyl was just a speed monster, hard hitter. Yeah, so I think. Hmm. This episode is not really real long. So, we might, might as well take on the Pokemon Mansion. Actually, before that. So we can catch a new Pokemon. We're actually going to get a few Pokemon this episode, like three. Before that, haha, <laughs> max repels. We're gonna buy 20. Yeah, that's fine. Even though super repels are a better deal, they don't have them there, so that's kind of annoying, but hey, at least we have them now. And here we can get the first Pokemon, and it's gonna be Eradicate, so that counts as Duke Claws. So we're just gonna run for that. I swear if we get a poison type Pokemon, it's just gonna be annoying. There's a Rattata, we have that, obviously. And this is gonna be a coughing, okay, so we get we get the poison type. And what do I wanna do to this? Um Okay, I'm just gonna hope a twister doesn't kill it, because twister's weak. Okay, yeah. Twister is pretty weak. And you're gonna be annoying and poison. Thanks a lot, coughing. <laughs> and we're just gonna chuck an Ultra Ball at this. That should catch it pretty easily. Yay, and I got a name already set for this guy. Yeah, let's go. gonna name our coughing kaboom. Yeah, 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 cause coughings like to explode everywhere and make the room smelly. <laughs> and where is our ch -ch -ch antidote? Come on. Oh, we got full heals, never mind. That works too. And now time to use the max repels, yay! Escape rope, very nice. Can't get that item, can't get through there. Not yet at least. Uh, we got this guy, yay! So it's some trainer battles, next to Johnston. Johnson. Okay, there we go. And these are a little higher leveled. Still like low 30s. I feel like they should not be this low. I must have uh, really over leveled. Um, whoops, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's also like the the only reason like Pokeball is so high level is because I mean, uh, that's annoying. Barely, barely survived it is because I mean we just went through a whole bunch of water routes. And I think I'm gonna switch out Venomoth to the front because I know there's gonna be probably some poison type. Got Mewtwo statue here. Switch on it. That should. Uh, switches. Where's the switch? Oh yeah. 
Oh, I want to use another pill. There we go, now I can get this protein. That's very nice. I'll take that. And we'll just go up to the next room. And we got a scientist dude. He's probably gonna be, oh no, burglar. Oh yeah. He looked like a scientist. So we'll just side beam this Charmeleon. And, or Charmander, and oh, he has a Charmeleon. <laughs> there we go. Two side beams for this. Okay, so I won't do any leveling up before Blaine's gym. Um, I really didn't think they, these things were gonna be so low level. Yeah, you got all like the diaries like pointing to Mew theory and whatnot. Pretty inter interesting if you're into Pokemon like theory and whatnot. Some of it, some of it's a little far fetched, but some of it's uh, some of it's pretty interesting. It's like whoa, didn't think about that. I like the little messages within the games and clues. Just got another switch at that. The speed up button so nice. Allows me to get through a few areas per episode. So we're not dwaddling. There we go. Here's a scientist. And here's a Magnemite, which I don't like, but Hottie likes. I actually doesn't necessarily like <laughs> his flamethrower likes it, but his flying type does not. And we'll just stay on because we're gonna be faster. And I'm sorry we're so like over leveled. I didn't. Oh, such a buffoon! I didn't realize like how low level these were. And just like a this isn't even like a like a hacked version. Usually hacked versions like have higher level Pokemon sometimes. So yeah, just guess I it is what it is. We are ready to press the button. Oh yeah, we want to press that. Because did we get everything? Over? Yeah, we got everything over there. And which? side do we go through? Obviously not that side. Okay. Yes, press the secret switch. Yeah, so like I said, I won't do any leveling up in between this episode and next next episode, because that's when we'll take on Blaine. Because I'm sure we'll be plenty high, uh, plenty high enough with our Pokemon's levels. And actually, because we're going to have to... Oh, that's not too annoying. Weezing off. We're going to have to take on that gym mostly with Gary, who is actually the lowest on our team. Oh, besides, obviously, Kitty. And speaking of Kitty, hasn't picked up anything, yeah. So that'll be interesting, taking on the next gym mostly with uh, Gary. I mean, unless it's necessary where we have to, like, switch in someone else, I've not come to think of it. Well, oh yeah, I have uh, Venomoth that's weak to fire, but Hottie's gonna resist, uh, and Bucktooth and Pokeball are gonna be normal. And eventually I'm gonna have to replace Kitty for someone actually useful on the team. <laughs> uh, what do we got over here? Oh, that just leads out. Oh, that's not what... I didn't realize that let out. Okay, that's weird. Mm, did not real yeah, did not realize that let out. Okay. My bad. Did not mean to do that. But these repels are coming in quite handy. Do 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 no no. No, I'm not gonna press it again. And yeah, we've got in front. Awesome. And we're finally in the basement. Yay. This is the place where all the goodies are. Got Growlithe. Sweet. Oh, double intimidate there. That's okay. I'm just gonna use special move. And I'm pointing to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace uh, Kitty eventually. It's gonna 
Alright, it's September 1st, which is far too powerful. Dun dun dun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace Kitty with someone useful. Um, I just really like him for his pickup ability now, and my team's doing pretty good. I got pretty good type coverage, I mean, yeah. Plus, people are over leveled, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I will level someone up in the future um, to replace Kitty. I don't know who. Probably someone that. I don't uh, normally use. Uh, they have never really used in a playthrough. And defeating scientists left and right and people. Pause effect off. Yeah, there we go. And what do we got here? Team 14 Blizzard. Very nice. We got a good TM there. I think solar beam's down here too. Uh, that's secret key. This is solar beam? Yeah, there we go. So we got the key, we got solar beam, we got blizzard. Got everything out of here. I think it's pretty, we're pretty set here. So we're just gonna get outside quick, and um, of course we have like one last battle. Actually. Well, a few last battles. I'm just gonna use another max spell. Go away. Go away, gross eradicate. My eradicate's the only suitable one. And. Oh, we're just, I'm just gonna use an escape rope. That works, I got six of them. Okay, so. That'll end. Okay, I'm gonna go in the gym. Yeah, so that'll end the episode here for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, next episode, you'll take on Cinnabar Island, and, I mean, that should go by fairly quick, uh, might do, I just head straight to Victory Road, but I probably want to do Victory Road in episode by itself, hmm, because that'll be a longer episode, unless I split it up into two, who knows. Anyways, I'll figure out what we're doing next time, but thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye.